Hello everybody, it's been a long time since I've done a video and today I'm going to do several. I've already did a half a dozen, it's not a dozen videos, but I had scopes fail, I've had all sorts of problems. Um, so I'm starting over uh, with a new scope. My Tektronix is uh, right now um, sitting on the bench, it's got to be repaired. And I'm going to show you a replacement for the Vortex coil that I had originally did uh, a few months ago in the Spooky Forum. I announced it in the Spooky Forum. Here is that uh, Vortex coil. Nice looking coil. Um, to effectively drive it, you need a small amplifier. Um, and if you refer back to one of my older blogs in the Spooky Forum, uh, you will get a description and a little uh, information or a lot of information on this particular coil. The problem that I found with this coil, it was too hard to make and too expensive to buy pre-made uh, if you went to a outside source to get this coil. So we came up with an alternative and in the process of coming up with an alternative, we came up with a much more versatile coil that does everything the Vortex coil does and a lot more. And it's a lot simpler design. You'll be able to design or build your own. And if you choose to, you'll be able to buy um, this particular coil from uh, myself because this time I'm willing to uh, reproduce these uh, for sale. All right, so I'm going to get this out of the way. and. Again, refer to some older videos that I did on the Vortex coil if you want more detail on that particular coil. This is the replacement for the Vortex coil. It is more than um, just what the Vortex coil is because it can also be easily used as a um, remote device. We'll demonstrate in video exactly how to connect it up and how to use it as both a magnetic wave generator for doing healing or for repairing or for whatever you would use one of the other um, spooky delivery devices or any delivery device. Uh, this one delivers magnetic waves and with the spooky software we're going to be able to demonstrate um, a lot of different wave functions and com combinations of wave functions and show you the differences between. All right, a uh, little more description on this coil. If I'm holding it upright, I just check the camera. It's got a five foot uh, cable array on it. I say array, it's really just two cables. Uh, there are two different windings on this coil. One is a 18 gauge, I had to think for a second, 18 gauge, and the other one is a 24 gauge, and they're both magnet wire, um, enamel coated copper wire. Um, at this point right here where I'm pointing, there's a 330 ohm resistor only placed in the 24 gauge, the smaller gauge wire uh, that comes out through the cable. You come to the other side. I've got the cable slightly coiled up, as you can see. Uh, you come to the other side. There's two phono plugs, and they will work very nicely with a phono plug to BNC adapter and I'm taking one off the spooky and just in case you don't think the spooky's here I mean where where is the spooky it's right here it's got a scope already connected up to it that's what the, you probably can't see it let me put this down for a minute it's got probes connected up ready to fire uh, we're going to not control the spooky in this in the in these demos with controlling the spooky directly I'm going to use the spooky software something that people have uh, asked me to do and I keep getting requests for screenshots and so forth um, so I'm going to do that. I'll uh, Anything that I do here I will capture the screenshots and I will add them to the end of the video so you'll be able to see what um, the settings were. So getting back to this call here we have two phonos and just if I can take off a, an adapter here's an adapter it's a phono to a BNC so I simply put that on and now you have a way of connecting to the um, spooky and that's exactly what I'm going to do you might be asking why do I have this uh, uh, what looks like the end of an extension cord which it actually is the 18 gauge wire 
in this coil can handle quite a bit of current. So I needed a off-the-shelf, uh, easily obtainable uh, wire that could handle the current that the coil can handle. And a 16-gauge extension cord fills the bill. So we converted the 16-gauge uh, um, extension cord uh, to a phono. But this coil is multi-purpose. And there'll be a, another use for that plug when I show you how to use this coil as a PEMF delivery device. Um, and if you don't know what a PEMF delivery device is or PEMF, I'd like to suggest that you search PEMF, P-E-M-F, on the internet and see what these devices are all about. They uh, are basically um, magnetic pulse delivering devices, but they deliver very intense pulses. I will be covering that when I actually demonstrate my version of a modified BET PEMF device and uh, using this coil. But for now, for this first video, I'm just giving you a basic introduction to the coil itself, what it replaces, um, trying to think of uh, anything I can tell you about the head's detail, like there is a north and there is a south face to it. I also made these cores. This is a laminated core, much like what a transformer is made up of, laminated uh, plates. This is laminated core. It's a lot of rods um, actually glued and varnished together and they can be used as an insert inside this coil like you just saw I did and it will intensify the magnetic property of the coil or um, the magnetic pulses of the coil or focus the magnetic uh, pulses from the coil if it's being used as a PEMF device. This is a, another core that's just a piece of solid cold roll steel cut to size and it is not as effective as the laminate. I will not be providing these laminate devices. They take two hours minimally put together. It's a lot of work. Um, I made one to try it out. I love it. What I'm going to do is to try to find a composite material that will act as an equivalent to the laminate, but this works also. And I would suggest that uh, hot rolled cold steel would probably work a little bit better because it is a, um, a softer uh, steel and it would probably be a little bit better as far as the alignment of the uh, atoms in there to create a magnetic uh, flux. This cold roll is a very hard steel and it's probably not the best source to use as a core but it is very functional. Don't let me underrate uh, it or discourage you from using this type of core. I have a lot of these and they'll probably go out with the first bunch of coils that I actually deliver or sell. Okay, um, that winds this video up. It's a basic introduction. The very next video will start going into demonstrating uh, functionality. Um, okay, with that, I'm going to shut this video down and you can pick it up in, we'll call it video number two.